YouTube, what's going on? Solution for the Solution Cakes back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. So you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. And you too can be a part of the Four Kicks Brigade. Hey, open recruitment. If you want to get down, let us know. We'll send you through our interest process system and all that good stuff and get you in here. But today's video is something I remix at the request no more like suggestion of p-town all right make sure i'm gonna hit, put his link down and make sure you check out his channel and um you know see what he's got going on it's mr fits and kicks p-town you know that's my dude right there we chop it up off youtube and um discuss things and sneaker culture among other things good dude by the way good dude all right a lot of good energy but he made a suggestion in the text that we were talking about that i should do this the original video i'm still going to use elements of it because that footage is still good but if you saw the live this is what i had on so i went back in the house to care some things and i'm revamping the video and we're going to do this today's a challenge it's challenge day so today's video is what's your oldest sneaker in your collection do you still have it well you for the challenge you got to have it and make sure you can still walk around in it okay Make sure you guys actually put it on your feet and walk around in the shoe. If not, you just got the shoe in the box. It's probably gonna fall apart on you, but can you still wear the shoe? So if you know my history about my channel, I talk about my favorite sneakers. It's only got, it, it, it has to be just one sneaker. It has to be because through and through, I might go and buy other sneakers. I might cop some other stuff, but I'm always going to come back to this sneaker. And it is, the Air Force One, okay? More so the Air Force One Low. This is my favorite sneaker of all time. It is timeless. The silhouette has been copied, mimicked, remixed, all that good stuff. We would not have Jordans, essentially, if we did not have this sneaker. Facts, we didn't have the Jordan One if we didn't have this sneaker, okay? So it dropped in um, 1982, and it didn't do so well, okay? As far as a lifestyle type thing, but, that wasn't true okay Baltimore was leading the way with the Air Force One okay the Air Force One was leading the way and Nike said we're going to suspend making these shoes we're going to cancel it no one's buying it shout out to Charlie the late Charlie Rudo Robert C Richards cookies um, like Cinderella's all those sneakers I told you the story before back in here Lucci if you're watching you back there going yo he's right they said wait Send us everything you got. We can't keep them on the shelves. So this was my full rate into seeing the sneaker walk around my neighborhood and all that good stuff. You know, all the guys that were getting money had this sneaker. And uh, this particular sneaker right here is from 2007. 2007. I remember buying this sneaker. I was fresh off drill sergeant duty. I was stuck in a hotel on Randolph Air Force Base. And I said I need to reward myself after those long two years of doing that particular job. If you know what it takes to be a drill sergeant, you already know. Shout out to my battle, Sheree. We were chopping it up in the, um, the live I did earlier. We served together as drill sergeants. So she'll tell you flat out, tough, tough job. Hours sucked. So um, I bought myself three pairs of Air Force Ones. I got rid of the other two pair last year because the soles were turning yellow and um i held on to this one and i've worn this maybe i think like five six times and i recently wore it about a year ago because i bought a san antonio spurs hat with this black and neon green so we're going to take a closer look at the sneaker so you can see exactly what i'm talking about and um i'm telling you it's still dope and one thing i didn't notice when i bought this sneaker i just bought it because it's unique and i love the gum sole i love this gum outer sole if you know me i talk about the gum outer sole is one of the the more cool unique features on sneakers that make the sneakers pop and um you can't go wrong as long as it's placed properly but one thing i didn't know about this sneaker it was a uh kind of a unique release they were paying homage to um dr james nesbitt you know the guy who created basketball if you will not so true dig a little history he got the concept from yeah we're not gonna get into that but uh yeah they're paying homage to um you know the Nesmith guy Naismith pardon me and you see right here I'm gonna get the other insole as well what I'm talking about so right there you see 
the peach basket because I'm playing basketball on it that he put up in the gym. You can see the player shooting on it, and here's the other one. There it is, all right? And believe it or not, believe it or not, I did not know what this was all about until I actually took a good look at the insole. Because, mind you, I wasn't always a sneakerhead, in this, a sneakerhead in this pure essence as you see right now. I was just somebody that liked fly kicks. I wasn't like, I collect, I gotta get these, I gotta get these. I was like, I like those, I bomb. And pretty much, I'm still the same way, but I do look out for certain releases. That's the only difference. I like what I like, I buy what I like, but I do look out for certain releases. But um, back in the day, I was in this pure form just a dude who liked dope sneakers. So make sure you start posting what's your oldest sneaker in your collection that you actually put on your feet. You can wear them. And I'm gonna throw to, I'm gonna put together a nice little outfit so you guys can see how I rock these and you know, made them pop and all that good stuff. Let's see your fits, let's see your kicks and all that good stuff with your oldest pair of sneakers and make sure you can actually wear those things. But 2007, all right, the solution, we don't believe you. So let's look at the tag. All right, hope you guys can see the date in there, okay? See the date in the show. April 07. All right, so trust me, I got the sneaker in October 07 once I was done that particular job. So I'm not out here capping as we like to say these days. But this sneaker is in pristine condition. If I had to rate it, it's pretty much a solid nine out of 10. Very slight creasing right there in the toe box. Cause like I said, I only wore these like maybe five or seven times, I think. And look at that, next to no heel drag. But I did tell you guys something about um, how I know I wore the sneakers a little bit is my right is my push off foot. And of course you're driving your right foot, your shoes gonna crease a little bit. So you can see there's more defined creasing right there in the toe box on the right shoe. But other than that, still in awesome condition. There we go. All right, very little to no heel drag, you know, Air Force Ones has the little stars on it. Also right there in the toe. All yeah. That is the oldest pair of sneakers in my collection. But I'm not done yet. But not to shut the video off just now, we're gonna look at the oldest pair of dead stock sneakers in my collection. And yes, it's an Air Force One. Yes, it harkens back to the actual original release of the Air Force One. So let's grab that shoe and I do have a backstory on it because, hey, I'm all about that story time thing. So let's get into it. Next up is another pair of Air Force Ones and guess what? It's got the gum bottom outer sole. All right, white and gray. If you know your history about this sneaker, this is one of the original colorway iterations of the mighty Air Force One. If you don't like Air Force Ones, I'm not sure, I, I can't deal with you, I can't, I can't. Just don't, don't, don't get around me, all right? Uh, and you say you're a sneakerhead, I can't rock with you, man. I mean, I get it, you like what you like, but this is the sneaker that started it all. So let's get a closer look at it. And there it is, y'all. So what's the backstory? I'll get with the backstory when I back up, all right? Look at that pristine condition. Just, I still got the shoe trees in it. It's dust from the sneaker just sitting on um, my old rack system right here. I've never even put my foot in these things. Size nine is my true size. Still got the sticker in there and everything. Hold on. So that size nine is my true size. Still got them, man. Just, and they have in yellow. That's the amazing part about them. But I did put some desiccant packets in the little translucent boxes that I have these in. So I guess it it made these hold on for a little bit. But of course you gotta have that, um, that little tab right there. 82 is when they released these, but white and gray. And one thing about the um, Air Force One, the true retro pair, this the Nike Air on here was painted on. It just said Nike Air, no swoosh. That's a true retro pair. That's how you know you got a true, the, the real retro pair. And I think the Moses Malone came like that. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but definitely. And um, I got these in 2010, you all. 2010. Like I said, I've never taken a shoe tree out of these. Yeah. No, 2011. 2011. These are from 2011. 
All right, so this is my oldest pair of Dead Stock sneakers in my collection. Um, I had a couple pair behind these that I never wore, but I had to give them up because the soles just turned nasty yellow. So what's the backstory behind this sneaker dissolution? You're wondering that. So I was deployed to Africa in a small country called Djibouti doing my army thing, but they had a naval exchange store in there and that's basically like our department store with a very small version of it. They carry almost anything we could think of, okay, that we needed to sustain ourselves, you know, anywhere from uh, laundry detergent, even though you could sit, uh, you know, get them to do your laundry for free or whatever. But if you want to do your own laundry, they had that deodorant, toothpaste, snacks, all that good stuff, TVs, Xboxes, PlayStation, um, watches, and they had a massive Air Force One collection. And sometimes we did get uh, Team Jordans and some Retro Jordans. I wasn't really into the Retro Jordan thing at the time, so I passed on a lot of those, but I did get my fair share of Air Force Ones. 12 pairs to be exact. I had like 15 pairs of sneakers that I bought over there, not counting the um, Delta Force Dunks that I talk about a lot that I didn't know what they were back then. Cause like I said, I wasn't a sneakerhead in this sense right now, just like dope sneakers. But um, a lot of those sneakers didn't make it back, okay? When I was, my time was up, my mission basically was over. I was uh, getting ready to fly back. Obviously I can't fly with all this stuff. So I mailed a lot of things back in these trunks. My stuff was being shipped out of country into Paris over to um, JFK which is like a big mail stop for the US postal system where they basically dispatch it out across the country. Well, come to find out there was a crime ring going on there and they were basically targeting our stuff that was being shipped out of theater and they were stealing things. So me being me, I put insurance on all this stuff, but I was not able to get those sneakers again because they weren't being sold anywhere else safe side at the time. So I lost quite a few pair and this pair and I think like three other pair that I'm not mistaken they did survive but like I said they turned yellow and um, I sold those. But these basically uh, are a reminder of me doing my thing over there and copping sneakers. But yeah, these actually made it back and um, oh boy. Mm. Yeah, I need to start wearing these. Okay, I don't know if you see it. See that? See that right there? All right, that's starting to crack. And <laughs> that's dry ride, okay? So I need to start wearing these if I wanna hold on to them. Um, just maybe I could fix them. But uh, everything else on the sneaker is pretty in good shape. But this concludes the video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. You know, tap that, that notification button so you know when I'm dropping none of these things. Also, share this video. Do hit the comment sections. Chop it up with me. You know, I'm probably one of the most interactive sneaker YouTubers out there. I do get in the comment sections and reply and respond to you. Not with just a like and a heart. I actually say something if you drop a comment that is comment worthy. Some people just like to say stuff for the sake of saying stuff and trying to be negative and trigger people. But we don't get down like that here on the solution for kicks and i'd like to thank all of you for joining the four kicks brigade if you haven't please do so all right and you know all the social media stuff check it out i'm out of here boom the solution